everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am going to show you today really quickly how to take a PDF coloring page. This one is from Mrs. Arnold's Art Room. I will tag her down below and list her website for you. And it's a free coloring page. She offers lots of them. You can print them or you can color in Procreate or another coloring app. I use Procreate, so I'm gonna show you how to convert that PDF into something that can be used to color in Procreate. Because if we go to Procreate right now and choose to import, you can see my files are here. This is the space one I was going to upload, but it's a PDF. You can't just upload it straight into Procreate. So what we need to do is convert it first. I use an app called File Converter. Looks like that right there. It's free to download. And I'm just going to come into the app and I'm going to, I have a draft of it up there, but I'm going to ignore those. I'm going to start you from the beginning. Start file. You're going to choose wherever your file is located. We're going to browse, pick our file that we want to convert, and I'm going to convert this to a PNG. It tells me again what the information is there on the file. And you're going to click start conversion. This is changing from a PDF to a PNG. It uploads, it converts, and then you just simply have to download. So I'm gonna click download. It just takes a couple seconds and I'm gonna open the file and there's my downloaded PNG, whoops. And I'm going to click on the share button in the upper right hand corner and just choose Procreate. It's gonna send it to Procreate and the next time I open up Procreate, it will be there. You can do more than one file at a time, that's fine. And as soon as you open up the Procreate app, it will upload into your gallery. So I have all of my blank coloring pages that I've uploaded today into this coloring blanks folder. And I need to get this one ready to go in there. But first I like to do a couple things. If you come into Procreate right now and come in here and color on this, you're going to be coloring over the black lines. If you try to erase, you're going to be erasing everything, including the coloring page itself. We don't wanna do that. We wanna color under the lines so it looks like we can stay in the lines properly. I'm going to take the little N icon right here in the layer, and I'm gonna move this down until I get to multiply. So I'm gonna multiply that layer, and then I'm going to choose to add a new layer and put it right below the coloring page layer. So now, if I zoom in to color, with the brush, not the eraser, I am underneath the black lines. So, um, you know, I would normally color inside the lines and, you know, this would be a separate color, but just to show you, it goes underneath the black lines now. So that's how easy it is. I always go ahead and get my coloring sheets set up that way. And then I save them with that second layer ready to go and when I'm ready to color this I will duplicate it and take it out of my blank sheet and put it back in my gallery just the duplicate and I'll color on the duplicate and leave the original alone so that I can color on that one again later. Hope this was helpful. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.